The sinners to be detained as enemy belligerents. This isn't just PrisonPlanet.com. This is Atlantic Monthly. The sinners to be detained as enemy belligerents. PrisonPlanet.com. Since the establishment media is convinced that the Tea Party members, 9-11 truthers, libertarians, Ron Paul supporters, and basically anyone with a dissenting political opinion is a likely domestic terrorist, they should be celebrating the fact that a new bill would allow the government to detain such people as enemy belligerents indefinitely and without trial based on their suspected activity. That's a quote. Suspected. No trial, no nothing suspected. No habeas corpus, no nothing. The enemy belligerent interrogation detention, that means torture, the enemy belligerent interrogation detention and prosecution act of 2010 introduced by Senators John McCain and Joseph Lieberman on Thursday with a little fanfare sets out a comprehensive policy for detention, interrogation and trial of suspected enemy belligerents who are believed to engage in hostile activities against the United States by belligerents who are believed to have engaged. And it goes on, requiring these individuals to be held in military custody, interrogated for their intelligence value, and not provided with Miranda warning, writes the Atlantic's Mark Ambinder. Read the full text of the bill here, PDF. The bill does not distinguish between U.S. citizens and non-citizens, and states that suspected belligerents who were considered a high-value detainee shall not be provided with Miranda warning. A person considered a high-value detainee if they fulfill one of the following criteria. Here's the key. One, pose a threat of an attack on civilian or civilian facilities when the U.S. or U.S. facilities abroad. Two, poses a threat to U.S. military personnel or U.S. military facilities. Three, potential intelligence value for any reason, any potential value they grab you. Four, is a member of al-Qaeda or a terrorist group affiliated with al-Qaeda. And here's the key. Five, such other matters as the president considers appropriate. The president is the Fuhrer, he is God. And they go on to say this will be used against the American people, and that's how it's written. And now they say they already have Viper teams, TSA, Homeland Security, all over the country running checkpoints with regular Army and Marines. Now they're saying that they're just going to pull you out of your car when you're going to the mall and run you through these machines, and oh, where'd Alex go? Well, the machine said he was a terrorist. Total fraud. That machine is now your jury. Webster Tarbley coming up in 15 minutes to go over a brief history of previous patsies where it's confirmed to be government staged. This is what they do. So they've introduced a bill that has a good chance of passing that says American citizens for any potential intelligence value can be secretly arrested, tortured, or for such other matters as the president considers appropriate. Now, the Enemy Combatant Act said the same thing, but this is even more expansive. Simultaneously, it's finally in Wired Magazine and even the Wall Street Journal headline, Cybersecurity, the End of the Free Internet. Another headline, Cybersecurity Enacts the End of the Open Internet. I, I, I mean, this is really happening. They're really saying the end of free speech. They're really saying we'll secretly arrest you. They really have legislation to publicly open the FEMA camps, the National Emergency Centers Act. They really have all these executive orders on the books. The foreign banks are really robbing us. Our criminal government does nothing but put dictatorships and corrupt regimes in worldwide. This isn't the American government. And a lot of people in government are concerned as well, but all of us have to have our voices heard. And stop just attacking the Republicans or the Democrats. They're a bunch of puppets. We have to go after the bankers. Now listen, license plate reading cameras are scanning everywhere you go. Your cell phones are tracking you. They admit that the federal government and Google, not just public schools, are watching you on the cameras and microphones built into all the new computers. That's now admitted. It's now admitted for 37 years. All babies at birth have their blood taken. It's given to the Pentagon for bioweapons research illegally. I told you that 14 years ago. It's now all over the news. See, they just do whatever they want. They put out fake Al-Qaeda videos. They stage terror attacks. They're completely criminal. They stole $28 trillion and won't tell Congress where it went. $28 trillion, not $784 billion.